Welcome everybody to Digital Transformation World here in Copenhagen. I'm Brian Krasik and I have with me our guest from Vodafone. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lester Thomas. Uh, I'm Head of New Technologies and Innovation at Vodafone Digital and IT. And we've been working closely with Google in what's called the uh, TM Form Innovation Hub, driving like open standards and showcasing to industry how some of these new AI technologies work. So, so Lester, I mean, the collaboration has to be fast and furious at this pace because the progression of technology is just at a rapid, rapid pace. How are you guys keeping up? And then how are you integrating that into the projects here with Innovation Hub? Yeah, we're driving this as, a, as an open source project. We meet every day, so we have a daily stand up and we're constantly using sort of all the open source tooling to drive the, like a continuous innovation, a continuous collaboration. Well, that's tremendous. So what, what problem are you, are you working on? What are you trying to solve? So last year at DTW, we developed uh, uh, an AI agent or an AI assistant for the TM4. So TM4 has a huge range of really valuable standards and guidelines for how you build telco services. And so the team built that into like a RAG application. So we had a, an, an AI assistant based on a domain-specific retrieval augmented generation application. And we did it for two reasons. One of them was to demonstrate, to showcase how to build these sorts of applications. So the architecture was a showcase. But also the second reason is it's genuinely a useful thing to, for people to use. And it's been on the TM Form public website for the last year. Over the last year, we've been turning it from a RAG application into an AI agent. So we're basically we're saying this Assistant now has tools that can do far more on your behalf and you can have agency to, 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 to research for you and also to do things like generate schemas or even generate code and diagrams for TM form standards. So does that start to become an efficiency play? Does it become a new innovation play? How do you view that? Yeah, I think it's an agility play, like the, the time to market to develop new things. It helps drive the standards because um, almost like naturally it's giving guidance very aligned to the standards we want people to adopt. But also we're, we're showcasing how to build this sort of uh, agent application. And the interesting thing is it's not a single agent. So the, the, this AI assistant is actually a multi-agent architecture. And then we go one stage further and we're saying, actually a bit like when we did op uh, open APIs and we said, you will have APIs for example, to link your website to your billing system, when you build them, build them so you can actually expose them externally to external partners, which we have been done for the last, last decade. With these agents, we're doing the same thing. So we're saying, well, a multi-agent architecture, where they're designed, you can actually use them directly through APIs across organizational boundaries. So the project we've been building is an, an inter-organization multi-agent architecture. And what we've got in Vodafone, we've got a an AI agent, which we use to help our enterprise architects perform their roles. And when you're in Vodafone, you're just using this AI agent. And behind the scenes, the Vodafone agent will talk to the TM form agent using open standards. We're using this open standard called MCP or Model Context Protocol. And actually they can talk behind the scenes. They're talking in English and then they're researching or asking for more details or helping generate schemas. And then for the Vodafone user, they get like a really compliant, really fast answer for something which would take them a long time to research. And they might not have even found the right, you know, the right uh, um, information. So you're democratizing that data from the TM forum, getting it into yeah. Vodafone, creating that consistency across how your teams manage and deliver yeah. and drive new innovations. That, that's right. And this is it's genuine. I can say Hanard is a genuinely useful tool to have as an enterprise architect but also it's our showcase for how to build these sorts of multi-agent architectures and the notion of don't limit it to internal agent uh, you know, use cases. You should be opening and, and assuming that organizations' agents will talk to each other, normally in English or in a human language, and actually you can drive like automation and sort of expand your, your footprint through this multi-agent architecture. And so when you think about multi-agents um, and exposing those out and in this yeah. industry we've always had a idea of, of exposure we haven't been great at it yeah um there's always security there's some some fears around that how do you think about that um how are you handling that at hodafon yeah, so in the innovation hub 
we've been linking this work on AI with work on what's called the ODA Canvas. And the ODA Canvas is a standard platform for addressing things like, how do I make sure my software is exposed to API gateways using you know, authentication mechanism? How do you do the observability of how that software is running? So what we've done is the team from Ava is deployed as a modular component running in the ODA Canvas on Google Cloud, but then it's using all of those uh, services. So the, the API is exposed to an API gateway with authentication and there's observability and monitoring and all these other things that you need to run this as a, as a proper service. So it's pretty fascinating then. Um, you guys are tightly um, coupled. I shouldn't say tightly coupled, but you guys are very involved yeah. with ODA. You're very involved with the TM Forum. And yeah. it, it's, it, how is that helping you drive your business? Yeah, so in Vodafone, like, we want our markets to all move from, but in our IT today, the legacy IT is quite monolithic. It's quite, you know, tightly bound together, very hard to evolve. It's not very agile. So our target model is to move to this ODA canvas running on standard cloud platforms and have every market to have their own tenant where they deploy these modular components. And of course, now we want to be embedding AI in all those components and granting access to AI services through this canvas and do it in a secure and responsible way. Well, you're certainly becoming an AI-driven telecom yeah. and it started with your data foundations that you lay. That's it's right. continuing here with the AI Innovation Hub. And why Google Cloud? What's that partnership look like uh, between us? Yeah, so in Vodafone, like we, we signed a big partnership in 2019 with, with Google Cloud, which originally was focused on data and analytics. And we built and we moved all of our big data onto Google Cloud. I think we're running 17 petabytes of data now. It's a large and number. Google, a, bit, a big yes. number. And that's a foundation, like all this AI work is built on a foundation for data. So when you run these agents, like the thing it forces you to do is your data that you're exposing to the agents, you have to rethink how you organize that data, how you structure that data, and having that running on Google Cloud is like, that's a foundational thing you have to get right. Well, I tell you what, we really appreciate the partnership, what you're doing with AI agents, the innovation hub, ODA, multi-agent worlds. It's really exciting to see, and we can't wait till the next month. That's how fast it's moving. Yeah, thanks very much, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate your knowledge and passing down what you're doing at Vodafone with ODA and the TM Forum. It's really going to be exciting to see what happens next. Yeah, thank you. And that's it for now at Digital Transformation World in Copenhagen. <music>